Kia ora, te whanau. My name is Daniel Price, and this is me. <clears throat> this is where I'm from. Um, and look at the, the puku on that bad boy. It's literally the size of my head. Um, I'm, my mother um, was a, a singer and an actress in the West End, and my father is an accountant. So some days I'm an artist, some days I'm a geek, but most days I'm something in between. And this, this is my passion, this place. Um, and this place is actually in a lot of trouble. So what you're looking at here is the year-on-year buildup of energy, heat, within our climate system, driven by us. Over the last 200 years, we've been pumping greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, and that outer red line, that two degrees, is where we lose control. We're running out of time. I spent a long time studying this system. My background is in climate science. These bad boys are my toys, satellites flying around the planet, 700 kilometers up at seven kilometers a second. They can measure changes down at the surface to centimeters. This study took me to the Antarctic, a continent at the bottom of the world that is capable of reshaping the world. I'm actually back off the Antarctic in five days to mount the, the first traverse that has been done since Ed Hillary mounted it um, back in the 50s. So it's, it's the first time New Zealand has mounted such an effort since the 50s. But after 10 years or so in the science, I realized that if no one's listening, what the hell is the point? Um, so I dived into public awareness and for some reason decided to cycle after returning from the Antarctic from New Zealand to Paris. Um, the idea was to galvanize global media and get attention on the Paris Climate Agreement in 2015, leading up to that crucial agreement in the French capital. We made films in Bangladesh, a country where 30 million people could be displaced by the end of this century by sea level rise. We made films in Mongolia, where an entire, an entire ancient culture, a nomadic culture, is threatened as the glaciers melt and the water sources dry up. But then even with that, I reached the point where I thought, we don't have time to get everyone on our side. We are out of time. I'm here to get shit done. And Aotearoa must lead. Whether it's agriculture, whether it's energy, whether it's tech, whether it's governance and law, this country can lead the way. <clears throat> now I put my business cap on. One problem we're working on at the moment is waste. As Sam alluded to, the global fashion industry is a, a, a beast. And um, one of the problems is waste. Millions of tons of fabric go to landfill every year. Our company, Offcut, wants to start making a dent in that. We take offcut fabrics um, that would otherwise end up in landfill, leach glues and um, dyes into the soil, and release greenhouse gases as they break down, and use that waste to make caps. We're starting with caps, but we're hoping to expand. We, we want to create a vision where we, don't, we, we, we buy things because we want them and they're cool, not because they're sustainable. They should inherently be sustainable. So I'll wrap up with this. Um, I'd like to finish with this image, this photograph, um, taken from a spacecraft orbiting Saturn 1.4 billion kilometers away. Um, and in the wise words of Carl Sagan, that's here, that's home, that's us. We, we don't have anywhere else to go. And like I say, time is running out. And what I fear after this week um, is that all the beautiful things that everyone is working on here don't matter unless we get ahead of this problem. We're not going to have the space, the time to think about making a better world until we retune with it. So I encourage you all here to join on this journey um, to make New Zealand a leader when it comes to climate change. Kia ora. Kia ora.